cutting my videos off. To the unknown! Okay, so I'm finally going to do the story so that I'm going to stop being afraid of being spoiled. in a different floor. <laughs> this piece is in the loading. Many people. Good morning, Draka. How are you? Well now, this is rather a lot of stern faces. Are my library books are reduced again? Not to our knowledge, we're associates of Kuriru and the students of our foundation. She seek passage to Tavnir and understand that you can assist us. Ah, the test subjects. Welcome, welcome. Test subjects? What? What did I miss? <laughs> like, my character's reaction is the same as me, like, huh? <laughs> How are you, Draka? Oh, you hadn't heard? Well then, allow me to, I'll allow me to explain. So in order to travel to an Itarite, you originally need to be attuned to it beforehand. Otherwise, you can't use it as a beacon to seek out while you're a mess. While you're a mess of ether rolling along the live stream. An inconvenient but uncontrovertible wit. Un incontrovertible wit limitation of iterate teleportation. I'm sorry, what? But what if I were to tell you that there is a way to travel to an iterate without being attuned to it? A way to teleport instantly to places you've never been? For long years, we've labored to make such travel possible that people might move about more freely. And we're finally done it. We've created a new kind of iterate that doesn't require attunement. Truly, that changes everything. Well, main language may have been a bit, bit, bit misleading. The user need not attune to these iterates. But the etherite themselves might have been pre-attuned to each other, thereby facilitating travel between the two points. Whew. I'm okay. I have a doctor appointment in about an hour. And yesterday was a stressful day. Ah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yesterday was like... The reason I didn't stream yesterday was I was completely restless. Like, I couldn't, like, focus on anything at all. And I this morning, like, last night I slept for one hour. And then I went to the doctor this morning. She gave me another month off. And then I called work. They were pissy at me for telling them I had another month off. And then um, I passed out and slept until four. <laughs> So, yeah, another month of streaming, I guess. <laughs> another month where I'll be streaming more for you guys. Yay! But yeah, I didn't know what to stream today. I'm still rest feeling restless. I don't know if it's because, like, um, too much stress and it's peaking my ADHD to the max, or... 
I'm not sure what it is. So I decided to... I was going to stream a house flipper. And I have a chill stream. But then I really wanted to play Final Fantasy towards its story. So that's what we're doing, I guess. I'm sorry you had a bad day yesterday. And the appointment in an hour is also stressful, huh? It just happened that our first test of pair of meteorites when it has been installed here in Charlene and the other over in Yedlemad. I don't know how to pronounce that. A poor town in Tas Tapnir. As you may know, our nation are as long maintained tr strong ties with Razahan. And indeed, we owe much of this breakthrough to the country tribution of their alchemists so to sum up or to test these etherites our fortuitous for you I, w I should mention that an accident has imp impaired my ability to channel ether will this be a problem not at all as a matter of fact you might say these etherites were made for people like your good self the magic imbued within it will whisk you away without any effort on your part. A veritable dream come true, and far be it from me to worry about such things. But do we have permission to make use of your shiny new invention? The only permission requires is yours, so assuming you're willing, we're all set. It may come as a surprise, but we actually struggle to find test subjects. Most people seem to have an unreasonable fear of their soul, They're gradually disintegrating as they drift uplessly in the live stream. Uh, yeah. In this statistically un unlikely event that something goes awry. But it's plain that you aren't most people. Hey, <laughs> Miss C Mistress Krill could have truly knows how to pick them. <laughs> I like we're looking at each other like, what? Such an unreasonable, unreasonable, <laughs> unreasonable fear, right? <laughs> I like that. Tancred and I are like, what? It might... It, if, I'm, if I might change the subject, our master Wilson and mi mistress Lewida not present today. Oh, you didn't hear? They recent, they've, they've recently resigned their post. Expertise was needed also elsewhere. Ooh, I can't read. A large-scale project helmed by the form itself, as I understand, but I am not privy to the details. I see. Any other question? No? Then let's get going before you change your minds. Please see to your preparations and tests and head outside to the Eterite Plaza. I'll be along shortly. Oh, good gracious. There's two quests here. There's this one and there's another one we could do. I haven't put this in forever, so my all my jobs are all level 80. Beavis. <laughs> mm. 
bit of this. Look at it. My directions were easy enough to follow, I hope. In any case, you stand now before the doors of Numeron. M Numenon. Charlayon's grandest collection of books and tomes. This building is actually only an entrance, and one as of many at that, for the archive of Numenon extends deep beneath, of this, beneath the surface like the root of a tree. The vast halls of the great Gobal are very pale in comparison to Numenon's endless mazes of subterranean chambers. And a citizen of Charlayon is free to enter and peruse its shelves, while well, most of the of its shelf. Only Archons are afforded access to certain restricted walls. I've dispatched Yeshala and Raha to investigate those. Meanwhile, Alice and Alfino will help me continue my search through the stacks open to the general public. Your st st status presents more of a problem. As a non-citizen, you are only permitted to browse the first floor here at the entrance. Even so, there should be a number of books which touch upon Charlie and history or, or foreign policy. Your task will be defined and studied the relevant publication. I promise, I, I promise you a working knowledge of those subjects will make it far easier to spot that sort of clues we're looking for. Whew. Let us talk. Let us be about it, shall we? I've told the others to meet us at the stone benches over there once they found some promising tones. Happy reading. Oh boy. Long, long ago, on an island in the Dordan Sea, there lived a rugged man by the name of Yuncraft. Yuncraft. <laughs> Yuncraft was a student of astrology. <laughs> And he divined that a flood of terrifying proportion would soon sweep over the land of Aero. I'm sorry, I can't. That name is just too weird. Watch out! <laughs> I'm trying to cover all the command raiders. How was your stream? I saw you running around in Minecraft. <laughs> Welcome in, readers. If you don't know me, my name is Anna and I'm weird. And I laugh for no reason. <laughs> you saw me looking. Yeah, I know you look. <laughs> what is happening? Um, I was trying to, ne to read a name called Yumkra. And I just laughed at myself. <laughs> I'm trying to do this story today because um, I've, you know, I kind of like slacked off and I haven't touched this game for like, well, I, it's not really slacking off. It's more like I couldn't really find it, like, and I couldn't find the heart to play it. Because, um, Stuff that happened last time, you know, in the past, in this game. But, um, I'm kind of getting over it, so I wanted to do the story before I get, you know, um, spoiled. So, I decided to play this today. And, yeah, um, I'm just laughing by myself. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I make myself laugh for no reason. That's just normal here. <laughs> How was your stream? How did it go?
I watched a little bit, but at the same time I did some cleaning and stuff while I was watching and I also slept for a while too. <laughs> Okay, I'm <laughs> about to sleep. I'll get some sleep. <laughs> sleep is good for you. I slept until 4 p.m. this afternoon, so I'm full of energy now. <laughs> Yeah, if you're tired, go to sleep. Get some sleep. Sleep is good for you. Sorry, were you waiting long? I don't know where for English voice. I play with the Japanese voice. I wanted to make sure you had borrow at least a few promising volumes. Often when Kururu should also be along shortly. I was delayed in similar fashion. As far as I could see, no titles in the Archon stacks mentioned the final days specifically, so we have no choice but to start with the tangent. Uh, can, ten, tangent. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's with these words? Tangents. Tangentially. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. Relevant tomes. And they are even that. If they are even that. At present, the plan is to skim through as quickly as we dare and share our discoveries as we make them. Uh, but yeah, Shadow Cobra, thank you so much for the phrase though. I do really appreciate it. I'm not going to shout you out because I know you don't like it. <laughs> Normally I would. <laughs> Aria! <laughs> hello, hello, welcome in. Sorry, I'm doing spoilers today. Mr. Clams! Hi, how are you? How are you, Ria? <laughs> Everybody's in today. How are you doing? It is not that I do not like it, I just do it as a funny way of Waitmaker getting notes here and the rest of them. <laughs> yeah, Waitmaker can... I, I think he's gonna take a little bit of a vacation from Twitch. He needs it, honestly. I might become a VTuber mama soon. <laughs> he does need that. He does. I think he's he's completely bur he burned himself out off of Twitch. Yeah, you doing good? I'm doing good. Yeah, I have. Well, I'm a little bit stressed, but I'm doing good. <laughs> Um, I have another month off, so um, a lot of streaming ahead. Um, I'll probably open some commission to try to make money to pay the bills, but uh, other than that, all good. My job was not pleased. My workplace is not pleased, but I mean, me. my health comes first. Hell comes first. But yeah, it gives you a little bit more time to, you know, refresh, get better. After, like, being so stressed last month over, like, Draka! Stop it! <laughs> you don't need to give pities. I'll figure stuff out. I don't I don't say this because I want you guys to to donate. I just like being honest. But thank you. I do appreciate it. 
Yeah, I'm probably gonna try to do some, you know, open some commission, maybe a model commission and some few, a few model commission. I may become a model VTuber mama eventually. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm going nuts today. I'm still all over the place. So I'm sorry if I'm like, I'm trying to focus on the story and then I'm like going all over. Mr. Clamps, how are you doing? Thank you so much for coming by. Have you thought about selling your mouse on Etsy? I think it would be, be so easy for you. Um, well, I do have an Etsy. I used to try to sell like some, like, um, some like bird sets and stuff on there, but I don't know. I could try, like I was thinking of making like some characters to practice with like some models with emotes. And, like sell them for cheap but then that that takes a long time so yeah some remote packs could be a thing i could do especially if i learned to make some animated emotes because animated emotes are better but yeah i could do that i'm just not sure etsy also costs money every month like that you have Posted if even if nobody buys from you, so that's also a negative. You have to pay for every item you have on on sale, even if you on the site, even if you don't sell anything. Oh, but it's not about a lot of pleasure, is it? You miss your home. It's been difficult. After our arrival, we managed to speak with one of the family servants and ask how things were. It seems our dear father as an instructor has ex instructed the staff that it, if, even if Alfino and I were to return to Charlie and we were not to be allowed across the threshold. That's so sad. Their dad is so mean. A harsh measure indeed. I hope that our ho efforts will under to understand his position and that of the forum will perhaps lead to re a reconciliation. Will man this riff one day? I'm certain of it. And what of you, Graha? Have you been to visit your family? Or did they not live here? They feared in the city. Just a thought, I have an Etsy shop also, but I don't have it open right now. I've thought about selling digital downloads and emotes on there. Yeah, I've, I've wanted, I want to like post some like, um, maybe like some coloring sheets and stuff like that on the coffee page I opened. I'm not sure about Etsy. I'll have to think about it. Like, I used to, like, I made an Etsy page before because I wanted to, like, sell some, like, jewelry that I made. But then, like, a lot of stuff, like, it, like... It's becoming a little bit fibery in a way that, in a bad way, like, some people are stealing stuff and posting them as their own. So I'm kind of... Do I want to just do commissions and like postings for members of my coffee page or do I want to keep my Etsy like posting for everybody on Etsy? What do I do? I'm not sure. I'll think about it. I should probably remake all of my emotes too. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> oh well, my situation is also somewhat complicated it was ra i was raised in charlie and yes but i was born rather further away 
in the southern reaches of Ilsabard. In fact, for generations, my people have dwelt in Corvos, the coastal region opposite the land of Th the island of Tavnir. That's very true. I understand that one thing your designs stolen. I mean, I just, I'm just not sure like how much work I want to, I have in me to put, especially like since if I have some commissions, then I know I'm doing it for somebody, right? So I know it's going to be sold. If I do random stuff, like custom, like random designs, like that have no real like, that are just gonna go on Etsy. Are they gonna stay on Etsy without anybody like buying them or and I'm gonna have to pay fee for them when I'm already strapped or are they gonna, you know, or like, am I gonna have spent like maybe like five hours on one emote for nothing, you know? Cause I put like a lot of effort in emotes and stuff. It does take me quite a long time to make them. The same thing with Avatar, like with the models, um, it takes me over like a hundred hours to make an, a model. So if I, I don't want to put like a ton of hours into something and then like have it just waste away. The elegance founded a city in Deathford Island and, and by ship brought in the subjugated tribes of the Mikote to serve as their burrows. Of course, the massive earthquake on the fourth umbral calamity brought an end to the empire's reign, and when the fifth calamity froze the seas solid, many of the tribes still living in Car Carvos saved or braved the journey back to Eorzea. My ancestors, however, chose to remain that they might prevent the remnants of elegant technology from being misused. Isn't Corvos under Garlean rule? For the past 50 years, yes, some semblance of local culture remains as is the case for most emperor Imperial provinces, but Garland models renamed the region Locus Amoinus. When I was a boy, when I was a boy, I. Uh, <laughs> the nearby town came under the jurisdiction of an illustrious imperial family, the noble of Alstarnus. I can't read. <laughs> My brain is melting. Al Darnus demonstrated a singular interest in elegant civilization, and so my tribe was forced to consider a plan of action. I've heard emotes and badges do really, really good in the sea, but if you're going to pour many hours into it, then I agree it's going to be the first. Personalized commission route. If you had the money, I'd help. Ah, <laughs> like the the badges we have on the channel, I actually bought out on Etsy, and so did I. And so the um, also the um hold on, like these. I've also bought off Etsy because I didn't know how to do um, emo like um, animated emotes. But I now that I know how to make them with Life 2D, I'm considering like if I'm going to change them or keep them. But a lot of people actually like them, so I might keep them. But I don't know. We might touch them eventually, like, to fit more of the, of the channel with the fox instead, you know. Uh, 
the sometime already voices have been raised in favor of abandoning our ancient customs. After all, the elegant eye no longer passed to our eldest children as real reliably as it what once had. Fear of discovery eventually tipped the scale and the decision was made to bury our ties to the knowledge and tradition of Alec. As the last ch child born with the elegant eye, I was given over to the custody of friends and the student of Baldesian, who had me registered as a Charlayan citizen. I never even considered. Forgive me, it was a very unkind question. Even Tankard was taken in by Archon Nusla, was he not? Stories of adopted wives and rescued orphans are more common among Charlians than you might think. Yet regardless of our origins, we are all provided with an equal opportunity to learn, and with sufficient perspicacity, we outsiders can even earn the bunted title of Archon. Tis exactly why I have such love for this country and why I wish it to remain a nation of which its citizen can be proud. But yeah, you're right. Yeah, we uh, could make some emotes for, you know, put on a Z and stuff. I just don't know what I would make, really. I'm not very creative. Like, I can draw if someone tells me what to draw, it's easier for me to draw something than try to think of something myself. <laughs> Maybe, like, during this month we can do, like, some fan art days. Like, draw some fan art stuff. I don't know. I might do, like, maybe one art stream a week, maybe, depending. I'm not sure. My stories I show you didn't and she bought all of her stuff on Etsy. These are the emotes. Yeah, Etsy has a lot of cute stuff. The badges we have on this channel though, like now when I go to this the page you see to download them, they, they, they're not there anymore. It's new ones. So I guess the ones we have are kind of N not available anymore so it's kind of nice in a way i'm not even reading the story anymore Like, I've made some of my, like, my first emotes I got from Fiverr, and then um, I realized the person who was making them was, like, just copy-pasting, like, different features on the emotes, so they all look the same, so I felt kind of betrayed, so I didn't want to order from them anymore, so I started making my own, and then... One of my friends made so most most of our emotes are my like I made myself, but these um one of my friends made for me, and they were really really cheap too, and they are so nice. Although I must say, the pickings are quite slim indeed. Miss Mistress Krill has already flicked through it. every history book devoted to disasters and more than a few, a few which barely made mention of them. As such, we will be- oh, I clicked too fast. <laughs> Oops. Speaking of which, might I ask you a few questions related to the final days? I'm the only one here who didn't witness the event of Amara first stand, and fear I may be overlooking critical details. Mm. 
cosmetics. Now, where to begin? First things first, what kind of phenomena did the ancient, ancients and ancients encounter as a final day during night? Uh, what? Am I supposed to know this? <laughs> They're telling me I'm full of bullshit. I like giving them personalized your channel personally. If I make it to affiliate, then I'll try but making my own emotes. It just wouldn't be moving. Yeah, I can, like, I'm trying to learn to do animated emotes. Because I can do it with uh, the program I use to make my models so I'm trying to learn to make some animated emotes too um I'm not reading chat text I'm reading chat so I'm not reading my story <laughs> um oh to be a bad fan of a DC 14 streamer they said it began with a keening sound from the land itself. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, I got this one. <laughs> I got this one right. So the ground was crying out, you say. We considered the arbiter of doom. It must have been quite distinctive and probably quite loud. I have to speak with one of the Numenon's mammoths and ask af after any book which make mention of such a sound. Last but not least, would you describe how the ancient sought to quell this unprecedented calamity? What definitive actions did they take? Oh, my eyes, sweetie. <laughs> yes, with Elidibus serving as his heart. So many gave themselves in sacrifice to bring him into being. We do not know exactly how Zodiac brought salvation to the star, only that by his godlike will were the laws of nature set aright. Then, once the balance was redressed, the ancient offered up a further sacrifice to ill the ravages of the final days. Life sprouted anew, and it was these fledging souls they intended to render unto Zodiark, a trade that would have allowed them to resurrect the shades of loved ones absorbed by the primal. Or it might have. Advanat and her fellow not manifested their opposition in the form of idling. Okay, why is my my room too hot or too cold? Thank you, both of you, for you, the detailed review. I feel much more confident now. Uh, with all of that fresh in mind, it does make me wonder what the Telephoroi truly mean when they speak of bringing back the final days. We've seen what they're doing to those towers of theirs is forcing people to summon primals a cat kind of catalyst are they attempting to mirror the condition caused by unstable ma cre creation magic 
or are they simply using the final days as a figure of speech, a convenient metaphor for the scale of destruction they plan to unleash? <sighs> but it is all but just pointless conjecture at this stage. Let us return our attention to the forum, shall we? We should keep an eye out for you, Shala. But this... This... Duh. This time, we began studying. I, I, I hate I'm not good with English. <laughs> we began studying these research papers. Wait one more time. Gotta love these quests. Like, wait here. Wait here again. Wait here again. <laughs> Here's Yeshua. I'm the last am I. Will my extended search of the Archon stacks produce one or two possible useful book? But I wouldn't get your hopes up. If you recall, Uri Uriander learned of the source's dif reflections from the Garen or oracles, but it potential to cause panic and confusion. That tomb was deemed apocrypha and sealed away in the Great Grubal Gub Gubal Library. It is even less likely that that knowledge of the unsundered world, not to mention the horrors of the final days, would be left sitting on a shelf for any curious scholar to find. It stands to reason then that, that my colleagues, BDR, BDR cons or counselors, should perform, or uh, should perforce be largely ignorant on the, of the subject. Yet, when you confronted Master Fouchano with knowledge of the Therophoroi the and their ma machinations, he scoffed at the suggestion that they pose a, pose a threat. He seemed adamant that the forms would know of the final days were truly upon us. Which only supports the conclusion that whatever privilege wisdom is guiding the forms' behavior, it is being kept secret from the rest of the nation. Not that I mean to excuse myself from read reading duty, whether they contain mention of the final day or days or not, these books could yet hold something of value. You weren't thinking of leaving, were you? There's plenty of work for everyone. <laughs> My character is like, what? You want me to read more? <laughs> I'm a fighter, I'm not a reader. <laughs> oh dear, you look exhausted, but what about your studies? Were you able to find any books on the subject I mentioned? Look at all these books that Yesha brought. There's so many of them. Then the day has uh, was well spent. Should you wish to read them again, a mammoth at the reference desk will point out to the right direction. For the moment, though, I suggest you, you take a well-deserved rest. We might be occupied with our research for quite some time. Oh, I have... So much junk. <laughs> so much junk. And like my most of my retainers are like don't have space. What did I get? Um I got boots. Yeah, I got boots.
Why like did they give did they give you like two plus lines? Ready for tea break. I know I am. Honestly, my neck and shoulders are going to calcify if I don't stretch my legs and walk around for a bit. You know the last send down to by the arbor, don't you? Come and meet me there. Alright, we're going to freak time with Alice. Um, I want to go to Scholar's Arbor. Boing. 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 <laughs> of course, that's the one I haven't touched yet. Goodness. We could have teleported to this one, I suppose. Um Okay, hold on. Okay, yeah. Hold on, there's a, another quest here. <laughs> um... Okay, this quest is just talking to somebody. Twice. Let's attune to this. <laughs> Hello, Azaria. How are you? Oh, I see. I'm doing okay. Had a lot happening today. I slept a lot too. <laughs> I shouldn't be speaking just speeding to text like this. I should be reading it. What 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 is it? Can I not enjoy a moment of private respite? If you're looking for a shit to share a table, then I respectfully request that you look elsewhere. You misunderstand, sir. We were, we were simply wondering if you knew of the Philophore. These enemies of peace have promised an end to... Uh... I've heard you were disowned for helping outsiders indulge their barbaric whim, and here you are giving truth to the rumors. Psh. Rude. Rude. Be rude to to say. Well, 
Well, at least he wasn't rude. He was just like, well, if I talk to you, I'm gonna be in trouble. Wait, is that Mistress Helse? Is he there? My word. How long has it been? Far too long. Me, Dickon. The owner of the last tent. I used to frequent this cafe on occasion in between lessons at the stadium. That seems like an age ago now. I remember hearing that you and Master Alfano had to tell for Eorzea and then you never came back. Lately, there's been gossip about your father disowning the pair of you. Everything all right at home? It's complicated, and I hadn't expected complete strangers to be so familiar with our situation quite so quickly. Everyone has, it, has an opinion, it seems. Well, it is a house of air. No matter how discreet Master Fulchino may have been, news of your family do doings never stays secret for long. Things being that what they are, what brings you back to this city now of all times? We have questions, and only Charlie has, has the answers. Tell me, Master Dickin, have you heard anything about the apocalypse called the final days? What, like the end of the world? Nothing like that, I'm afraid. And that's what you're here to find? Information on this apocalypse? For several days, I sh I sit watching, but I say nothing. Ah, thank you, Zarya. Lurking is appreciated. I don't talk a lot when I watch stream either. Yes, whatever we can learn. Unfortunately, your patrons appear to be unwilling to speak with me. I wish there was more I could do to help. Hmm. But maybe there is. You're a visitor to Charlene, aren't you? Then she will know your face. We should be able to pass you off as a server with none the wiser. We just finished preparing a few orders. Check out with your friendly conversation while you sit while setting down the food and you might just get the answer you're looking for. Not a bad idea. I hate to ask, but what do you think? Leave it to me. <laughs> I'm not really dressed like a server though. Uh, Mikoti gentleman ordered the oven baked lobster. Um, no, I didn't get all that. Okay, so the tea set for the lady. This one should be the omelet. You just need to read, right? And then the Mikote was a lobster.
I really should read. <laughs> It's just very embarrassing that long the last. <laughs> Do you mean like the 12 hour stream the other day? That was a, uh, yeah, a long one. In trouble with the customers. Were you able to get in anyone talking? Interesting, they seem unaware of the final days, aside from whatever vague news the Gazettes are printing. Even Dickon has nothing to offer. Alright. Boing. Okay, where are we going? Just over here somewhere. Okay. Where's the Moogle? I hear Moogle. <laughs> Two days, no more. I don't try I don't I try not to call out like people who lurk because when I when I lurk I don't want to people to call me out so I don't when call our father out my... disowned us Ugh! I couldn't believe why is it in English Ugh! why is it in English what happened to my game it wasn't until much later that his words began to sink in, that I began to feel the weight of what it meant. Ah, I don't like this. Do you remember when the decision was made to come to Charlien? Graha said that the Forum was determined to keep us in the dark, and that Father's venomous performance was part of that strategy, to keep us at arm's length. I know it's easier for for chat when it's in English, but I don't like any the English voices. Perhaps it was. Father argued with grandfather on many occasions, but never with such dismissive contempt. I'm gonna switch it after this cutscene. And when he demanded what justifies the sacrifices we make in war, I honestly didn't know what to say. Neither did Alpha know, I know, but never for one moment did I believe we had made the wrong choice. So all I could do was fume silently. <laughs> it was only afterwards that I realized how childish I had been. How being stubborn and self-righteous must run in the family. Uh, if I could have just mustered a civil response, then things might have turned out differently. I... I... That's not sketchy at all. Uh... Can you make her kin? Can you give that hugs? They must be ferrying goods to Labyrinthos. Uh, English voices, uh... <laughs> I don't the like complex beneath the island. I'm sorry, I don't like the English VA. Charlian is famous for archiving knowledge from around the world. Well, that knowledge is not preserved exclusively in dusty tomes and desiccated samples. Our living library, comprised of all manner of flora and fauna, is housed and studied within that underground facility. Two days too long. <laughs> Still, that did seem to be an unusually large shipment. When I lived here, it was rare to even see such cargo transported by boat. I'm glad you feel good enough to speak in chat. Wait. Didn't you hear something in the last stand about the gleaners coming and going more than usual? I think they're the ones we saw manning those boats. 
If the appearance of the Telophoroi prompted this sudden burst of activity, then Labyrinthos may hold a clue as to what the Forum is planning. Sorry, the English website thing is getting to me. Give me a second. Why did it change my voice acting? Ugh. Game, why? <laughs> okay. Um. I'm glad he's feeling like, you know, 